Hello, in this video I want to show you how our Mimikatz can manipulate uh, protected processes. So I'm going to run Process Explorer as an administrator. And here if I look for the local security authority uh, process, this process here, and I look at its properties, security tab here, you can say, see protected here, it has a value, PS uh, protected signer LSA light. And uh, this means that the local security authority here is uh, running as a protected process. Uh, so protected processes were introduced with uh, Windows Vista for uh, DRM reasons. So to give the ability to the music industry, the movie industry, to create uh, media players that were protected from all other uh, processes so that their memory could not be read and that they could guarantee uh, the copyright uh, protections. So accounts like even system were not able to read uh, that memory. Now, protected processes were not popular at all. Uh, actually, as far as I know, no media players were uh, developed that used that uh, protected process uh, mechanism. But with uh, Windows 8, uh, Microsoft introduced uh, a new flavor of protected processes. They call it protected processes light. And uh, this can be used for security reasons. Now, if we go into strings here of uh, the LSA process, and we go into memory, here you can see error opening process. So even as I'm running as administrator here, I cannot read the memory of uh, the local security authority because it is running as a, a protected process light. And that is because of a um, setting in the registry that I made. So here on Windows 10, local machine system current control set control LSA, I created a, a double word uh, entry, a D word entry, run as PPL and I set its value to one. Then I restarted Windows 10 and because of this setting, so lsass.exe is running as a protected process. Now with Mimikatz you can change this and I'm first going to demonstrate that uh, with Notepad. So I'm going to run Mimikatz as an administrator. like this and uh, let me start notepad and if I go into process explorer I have notepad running here looking at its properties it's not protected uh, protected no and strings I can access the memory here are the strings found in memory now with Mimikatz, I can change the status. I can turn this uh, process into a, protect, a protected process. And for that, I need the driver. So the driver here uh, is already installed on this uh, machine. And now I use the kernel command process protect. And then I need to give it the process it, I want it to protect. You can give a, a process ID or a process name. Here I'm going to provide a process name, notepad.exe. And now this notepad uh, process has uh, been protected. Uh, it is a, a protected process. So this means if I go into a process explorer, now if I look at the properties here, Security, it still says no, but that's because uh, Process Explorer has not updated uh, this information. It, it doesn't expect that, that this information that changes, so it doesn't read that information again. But if we go into strings, memory, now we get an error, error opening process. And if we start Process Explorer again, I will run it as administrator. It will read information again for Notepad 
And if I look into its properties now, you can see here uh, that it is a protected process. So that is how you can protect a process uh, with Mimikatz, an unprotected process. You can also remove that protection again. And that is the same command, but with the uh, argument remove. And by doing this, you turn the process again into a normal process. And now if I go into the properties, okay, so it still says that it's protected, but we know that's not true. If we go to strings memory, now again, we can read the memory, we get no error. Let me start process explorer again. And here in the properties, this time security, you can see it's no longer a protected process. So that's how in Mimikatz you can change this. Now let's come back to our local security authority here. So we have not changed anything to that process. It's still a protected process. Now the implication for that, if I want to dump the secrets, is that Mimikatz will not be able uh, to access uh, those secrets. So let me first enable my debug privilege. And if I now dump the LSA secrets with the inject method here, sorry, double quotes. I often forget uh, the double quote, okay. So now uh, I get an error. Now you get this error because it's a protected process. So we can remove that protection. So the kernel command process protect the process is a local security authority and I want to remove its uh, protected process uh, uh, settings like this and now if I run the command again here I can get uh, the hashes.